Hi, uh, Sean here. Today we're looking at the Fedora 15 Alpha 1, and um, we're going to look. This is the kind of the standard desktop when it starts up. So, what we have here is um, system settings first. I presume these are chat accounts. We just click on my account there now. We can have an automatic login there as well. I can unlock it. And I can expect you can change your picture and stuff from here. Let me just do that. So we'll X that off. Come back in again. System settings. And um, you can see here you can get your backgrounds changed. And you can go back to all settings again. And we look at um, system information. And it's known version 29191. The graphics is an Intel 965 GM. And there are default applications there for the internet, mail, calendar. Our music we use in Rhythmbox. We can use Movie Player if you want. And Firefox is installed on itself. So back to all settings again. Screen resolution, mouse, keyboard, sound, date and time, user account. So we'll X that off. And we go down here then to um, we can lock our screen, we can switch your user, we can log out, and we can suspend. And suspend is interesting because there's no shutdown on this. So once you click the suspend button, it kind of goes into a sleep. And when you press the, your power button again, it, it wakes up. So it's quite handy. This is your battery monitor here. These are your power settings. And how we look. And it's pretty straightforward um, power settings here. So it'll put the computer asleep on battery if... Uh, so we'll just set these to an hour. Now we look at our volume control. We have our microphone here. We can adjust our microphone. This is our volume control. These are our sound settings. And we can have like um, default alert sounds there. And here's our hardware. This is our uh, webcam here. And you can see we're recording the, and it's the um, Logitech cam. So we just X that off. This is our accessibility here. You can have high contrast zoom. So that's quite handy because everything is there at your fingertips. This is our internet connection. Uh, this is our clock here. And you can see the shading between the clock and the terminal running. So we can, we can um, nothing scheduled today or nothing scheduled tomorrow. You can open our calendar, adjust date and time. Now here's our activities here. This is our sidebar. So, for instance, we've got the internet here on this. And we set it to Google, and um, I think we're using Firefox 4. So we're actually using the Firefox 4. I can right-click and close that. And here's our activities again, and you can see then you, you've got um, the way the, the GNOME tree works here. We go into our uh, system monitor. And you can see we're using the 26380 release candidate 8 and a dual core processor. And the resources are 3 to 4 of memory. And the process was quite high because we're recording desktop at the moment. So we X that off. And as I said, it's alpha at the moment, so it's not 100% stable. So it's just kind of take your time with it. And we go into our applications menu here then. You see all your applications are here. Accessories, games, graphics, shot well, we have shot well as graphics and uh, simple scan. Internet, we have transmission, Firefox, empathy, and Pino Twitter client. Noting here in the office so far. Operation system upgrade, sound and video, we have record my desktop Istanbul, neither of them will work at the moment. We have our cheese webcam. I installed this by accident here. So if I want to say, if I use this a lot, say I can drag this in here into the and you see now this is my favorites stuff here so you can keep all your favorites here on this bar um we'll back the applications again system tools and um add remove software so i've added that in here already just drag it across and we can search in here for something so we'll say we'll search for um system And to bring up everything with uh, applications and settings. 
And it'll also bring up a Wikipedia here as well in the Google. So let's say if I want to go into my home folder, you can just type home and it brings up my home folder. Click on that. And see that's our output for our record our desktop. So that's pretty straightforward there, the home folder. And again, we know what uh, it's 2911901. So um if you look at the Ubuntu desktop with the Unity interface and you look at the GNOME tree, you know, you can compare, you know, and um, it is harder to install applications on the Fedora overall, you know. And you see you've got two desktops here, so I can click to the other desktop. You can switch desktops here. And um, I think that's about it, really, for GNOME tree. And we hit our activities again. And we go back to our first desktop and we're going to 